Hello, my name is Harold York. I'm a research scientist in Pasadena, California, and I'll be talking about the Fibonacci sequence computation. The Fibonacci sequence is named after an Italian uh, mathematician, Leonardo of Pisa, and he's known as Fibonacci. And he wrote a book in 1202 and he introduced uh, this sequence. The Fibonacci sequence starts off with the numbers 1, 1. We add the two preceding numbers. So the next number is 2. The number after that is 1 plus 2 or 3. The next one, of course, is 2 plus 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on. That's how we calculate the sequence. Now this is a very interesting sequence for a number of reasons. It, um, if you look at squares, and you start off with two squares that have sides of 1 and 1, and on top of these two squares you put another square which has a side which is equal to the length of the two previous squares. So then I would have 1 plus 1, I would have 2. And the next square would be a 3 by 3 square. The next square would be a uh, 5 by 5 square. And after that, we, I would have an 8 by 8 square. These are the same numbers in the sequence. And I would continue uh, drawing squares. The interesting thing about this is if I now connect the opposite corners of these squares to a curved line. I get a spiral. And this spiral is very close to the so-called golden spiral, which you will see in nature. For instance, a seashell would have this sort of shape. So these numbers are very interesting and there's a lot of things you can do with them. You can solve the so-called rabbit problem with them. And I'll leave that as an exercise for the viewer to see how that works out. Thank you for watching. Thank you.